up guys I'm Dan I'm back with another craft brew review coming at you with Black Rocks Starman Pale Ale limited release um, this is again from Black Rocks which is out of Marquette Michigan there's a lot of good things about this place um, they do a lot of distribution now Black Rocks does a pretty awesome job they're most well known for 51k um, and they do, you know, cool other beers, too, like uh, Grand Rabbits, which is a cream ale. and um, I mean, you could name a million of them, but this one came across like it does every year. And I thought I would test it out for you guys. Um, I have not had it, but I did carry it last year. Don't know why I didn't try to drink it, but um, on the back of the label, we at Black Rocks Brewery are proud to call Marquette, Michigan, our home. Our name is inspired by the Black Rocks, located just north of town, where natives and visitors have gathered to enjoy Lake Superior for generations. Um, and they do have the buy fresh within six months of date on bottom, and bam, 12-6, guys, one month to the day fresh. I love that they put that on there. Um, I respect that big time. So, without further ado... Starman Pale Ale 5.6% with Simcoe, Citra, Amarillo, Columbus, Mosaic hops. This sounds delicious, guys. Those are like some of my favorite hops you could possibly throw in a beer. So, um, yeah, 5.6. Let's see what we're working with, guys. I'm going to share this with my brother-in-law, so I'm going to do half pour. I'm going to do a nice aggressive pour. Um, nice golden yellow, kind of, uh, kind of dirty, guys. It's kind of hazy, very good carbonation. Um, nice white, fluffy head, uh, clinging to the glass very, very nicely. Um, and it's definitely a very foamy, uh, clingy head to it, guys. Um, Don Soapy for sure. So, aroma. Oh, man, that smells delicious. Big hop punch. Definitely a lot of hops thrown in this bad boy. I do get that citra. Um, definitely that citrus fruit in there. Very tropical. Definitely like a fruitiness to it. This smells absolutely delicious. This is like right up my alley. Some of the best beers that I love smell just like this one, guys. It's like the, kind of that pineapple in there. It almost smells like a regular IPA, to be honest. Packing a big punch. I think it's that mosaic hop I really like in there, and that citra. I really, really enjoy those. But this smells absolutely mouth-watering. I have to dive in. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Right away. The aroma is actually much stronger than the taste. The taste is much cleaner, lighter than you'd anticipate. Mm. But this is just a pale ale, um, so this makes a lot of sense. This is a very refreshing, very clean, very crushable. The taste actually drinks more like a lager than I would say a pale ale to be honest with you but it is meant to be drinkable crushable light crisp and clean which it is all of those check those in the category it is it is definitely all of those i love the citrus in it i love the cleanness in this um, i'm really digging this vibe nice summer beer unfortunately not available in the summer real light light um cracker biscuitiness to it very very clean refreshing um nice lacing on this glass guys um this packs a punch for the, from the nose guys and it really does just drink a lot lighter than what the aroma is but this is hopped very very nicely almost leans more towards an ipa um but because of this flavor and how light it is it does make proper sense why it's a pale ale very crushable i give this a 4.0 out of 5 guys i really really like this um i just wish it was packing a little bit more punch in the flavor there but again it's a pale ale so it is what it is guys they're not lying about it um it's been a pleasure reviewing it guys from black rocks i'm dan i'm over and out i'll see you on the next one guys cheers